Alright guys, this is the first um, my first video on YouTube. Um, today, uh, today I want to uh, talk about how I started to speak English. Um, I have uh, written a sketch here, you see, and uh, um, uh, in case that I would uh, forget what to say. So the first thing, um, you know, um, to introduce, I will tell you uh, the background of my English. Um, I started English at uh, when I was 12 in high school or in middle school. Actually, I um, and uh, until um, high school and university, uh, I was good at English and um, have always um, have been top top students in the class. Uh, I mean. Um, with respect to English, of course, <coughs> but uh, I can still remember that uh, though, uh, though you could get the high scores in English, I get high score in English. I don't really, I can't speak at all. It's not really at all. Uh, it's actually I can say some, I can express or say something meaningful. Um, at that time, I mean, uh, I remember that. Uh, um, in the second year or first year in uh, university, at that time um, we had a final exam where uh, where there is an um, oral exam also, where uh, you talk with a, with one um, with two classmates and um, you know in topic that's given, and uh, teachers will give you scores according to your performance in your record. At that time, I remembered. You know, we speak uh, English with each other, and uh, the interest. Uh, uh, it was topics like um, what sports do you like, where do you come from, or you know, uh, oh, what do you like to do? Uh, everything you know, like that. And we and we would talk uh, like uh, uh, where where you come from. Uh, I come from uh, Zhejiang province and uh, how old are you? Maybe <laughs> maybe 20 at that time. So we, we talk about all kinds of you know very simple stuff and uh, even we're, when we're talking about simple stuff <laughs> we got stuck a lot. For example we would speak uh, one sentence and search for words for, for a few seconds and uh, then continue uh, to say can you say what we uh, meant to say? So um, at the time, I still couldn't uh, speak English fast at all. <coughs> I remember that uh, at that time, or um, first year, uh, uh, second year, or third year in the <laughs> in the university, um, I can actually, um, you know, my English not too bad because I can read online. Uh, for example, I will Google online. Um, so you will check this out. I will Google online like this. How I learned uh, English. Uh, um, I, I don't know. Um, at uh, the third, uh, the second year or third year, I can, I'm, I'm able to yes. I will move that here. Oh, sorry. Uh, so, <coughs> second year and third year, I can really understand English. So, uh, I mean, I mean, written English very good. Um, I can read uh, blogs like this or stories on anything, you know, articles, anything like this on the internet. And I found myself really good at English. No, other people really don't really read online. They don't read. They don't re read real English like me. So this, this is one of the reasons why I was good at, at English. I I read stuff and you know on the internet. So I I can understand uh, this, but um um I understand written English, but I couldn't understand uh, English when it's spoken. Um. One thing is that it's too fast. Second thing is um, it will probably use saying uh, use words that I didn't know. <coughs> so 
I couldn't uh, at that time I, I, I didn't I couldn't imagine that uh, one day I could really you know understand spoken English let alone to speak English myself <coughs> but uh, you know I think it just happens happen um, happen in a really weird way <coughs> so oh, where I'm now um, so next thing is the third point I started to be myself um, it's at uh, I can remember our second year third year in my university where I realized uh, maybe I don't have I don't have to be too hard to to myself maybe I would um, let myself to be myself uh, what does it mean it means that uh, at that time uh, I played uh, computer games um, Warcraft, Warcraft 3 and uh, Starcraft 2 <coughs> and uh, I, I was uh, when I was playing computer games I always feel kind of guilty I always feel I'm kind of wasting time I couldn't waste time that I should be organized I should be read more books I should you know study more and uh, um, including the classes um, in the university and uh, um, include which uh, includes um, foreign language, uh, which is my hobby. Uh, at the time, I think I'm I was learning uh, Hebrew, so I was really hard on myself. I was I was forcing myself to read more Hebrew and uh, you know listen to more Hebrew, all that kind of stuff. And also, I would tell myself to 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 you know um, force myself to learn more. Um, about uh, to spend more time learning the things you know in the classes <sighs> but uh, one day I am you know I was really tired and frustrated um, and I, I told myself why why, sh why should I control myself anymore because I was really tr trying hard to uh, limit my plate I play game time to an hour or so. I would say, you know, I can't waste time. So I can't waste so many hours in a day. Uh, I mean, I, I thought, you know, playing games was waste, a waste of time. So I forced myself to play less. It was so hard. I can't force myself to play less. And um, one day I just realized maybe I'm not going to. You know, force myself into anything, and uh, to be and be myself. I mean, the real myself, um, the real natural myself. So, so I, I start doing that. I I didn't tell myself that um, playing games was was a waste of time, and it wasn't a waste of time. After I don't tell myself it's waste time, it's waste of, it's a waste of time. You know. So, at the time, I was really, you know, into StarCraft 2. So, check this out. Um, I'm not going to play this game now because it's, you know, it's a huge game. My computer will be so laggy, um, especially when I'm recording, you know. So, it's, looks, um, this is StarCraft 2, but uh, the English is too small. The Chinese, I, th I think you can see the Chinese. Xin Ji Zheng Ba, er, so, stuck to, uh, where, at that time I was, um, I mean, second year or third year, I can remember, in the university I was really into StarCraft 2, and I was in the Bronze League, which is the uh, worst league in the StarCraft 2, you know, ladder system, I was in the bottom, so I, I don't know. I played Warcraft three for a few years with so much, uh, so many experience in the strat, you know, strategy games. I still be so suck at this, um, suck at StarCraft two. I was so not, you know, I was so dis disappointed. And I, you know, I'm looking for tips on how to improve my StarCraft two skills. And of course, I'm. I was doing that, reading these things in, you know, in Chinese. And one day I just read uh, some tapes from a random guy, random guy, you know. And I found uh, he talked about uh, 
a person called uh, Day9. Uh, Day9 was a commentator on Instagram too, and uh, probably he would um, teach um, um, Instagram too uh, in the same time. So I heard Day9. Um, um, uh, yes, you know, Dana is, is famous in the StarCraft 2 game, you know, um, around the world except in China because people don't understand English, so nobody knows Dana and nobody knows YouTube, you know, it's weird. <laughs> But at that time, um, I checked uh, Dana out. Um, Yes, and f I think the first video I watched um, on Day9 was on Youku because I didn't know YouTube at that time. Um, look at this. Yes. Oh, it's so bad. What? This ad? Uh, uh, ad? This ad here? Ugh. So disgusting. So you probably have to wait for some time. Uh, you know? You know, so I found day nine. I found, you know, I watched um, day nine, and uh, I found yes, no. Uh, I found it's really hard to understand him, but I can't really understand something because I was, I at that time I was not too bad at English. I can read English well. I mean, on the you know the blogs on the internet, I have no not much problem, but but listening is uh, kind of. Not, you know, I can understand a little bit, so, so I'm just, uh, at that time, I was really, I really wanted, I really wanted to, I really wanted to understand what it's talking about, I really want to learn StarCraft 2, by the way, the ad, the ad is, you know, the ad is finished, so, let's, let's go back. I'm to adjust the light, I reposition it back to that old angle. Uh, in number 99 with this webcam actually on top of my computer, but I kept actually naturally looking down here. And I'm sure all of you are familiar with the Diablo 3 poster, and now because I actually have an HD camera, you can even see the StarCraft 2 poster there, so that's pretty awesome. So today, today is an unbelievably special Day 9 Daily, because first of all, I just hit three digits for the first time ever. Yes, uh, didn't you see that... Um He speaks things really fast as at normal speed. At that time, I couldn't understand him because he speaks English too fast. I couldn't understand, but uh, it's kind of just I just kind of wanted that too much. I wanted to understand him. I wanted to learn to play StarCraft too. So I watched. You know, I can remember how much, but uh, uh, probably maybe 20 or 30 hours. Of his videos, I found my I found myself able to understand him much more, and it's much easier. And um, oh, oh, I forgot to mention this. Uh, there's only um two or three videos of Day Nine on Yuku. Um, actually, you um I I I I want I wanted to learn stuff of two so much so i actually figured out how you know there's a um website called youtube and they and i had probably have you know has some um, has his channel on youtube so i figured out a way to spend me hours to get on youtube and uh, you know it was blocked in china in china and I figured out a way to get um uh, Get on YouTube and watch him ever after. You know, I was happy ever after. Um, where I actually actually realized that I can understand him. It's not really hard. Um, yes, at the time I found myself able to understand him. So after that, um, at that time, I was really also, you know. Uh, besides StarCraft 2, I was also really into language learning. So I will, you know, show you um, the second person. I guess the second person I listen to is Steve. I guess Steve. You know, after a while, um, when I was really comfortable with Day 9. Um, I was re also really um, not only you know play StarCraft 2 uh, at the time I was playing 
stuck for three hours a day. It's crazy. The words, it's an interesting article. And of course, as I read these, I don't have sound for them. I don't have the transcript for this. It's not ideal. But the interest of the, the what I'm reading or listening to is, is for me more attractive than other considerations. Um, I just can't continue listening to a material that is just created for learners. It's after a certain point, it's just not interesting enough. I, uh, as you can see, um, after that I watched uh, uh, Steve, and Steve is a really cool person, and he has really original point of view of how to learn language. I watched him and was really inspired. And uh, most, um, the, the, the point is that uh, I found after I found myself on a Sunday night and understand the other person, understand other native speakers, never hard anymore. <coughs> So, um, what's the next point? Um, also, when I watched a lot of videos on YouTube, I found myself able to, you know, speak to myself. You know, I uh, speak to myself in English. I was, you know, um, you know, I, I'm a weird person. I speak to myself a lot. Um, I actually speak to myself a lot in English. So, I found myself better and better in speaking speaking English and. Um, it's until one day that all these things is verified. If I can really understand spoken English, it was uh, um, it was a year after I found YouTube, I guess, and I was really good at listening at that time. Um, actually, um, I this um, you know class, um, you know, uh, an oral you know class. Um, which is not required where I, you know, there is a um, teacher, and by the way, his name is Vic, and he is from Canada, and uh, and he, you know, teaches oral English, he speaks, uh, you know, of course in English, he, he, he can't speak Chinese, <coughs> and uh, I found myself, you know, though it, it's a little bit hard at first, but I found myself, I can understand him, um, I can understand him more than other, other classmates, because it's not required class, there's not much stu you know students was attending the class, you know. It's like uh, five or six students in the classroom and in big classroom, you know. And uh, I found myself can understand him, and you know more than other students. And I found you know I'm really, uh, you know it it really works. I can understand real person. And uh, Vic is a very kind person. And he he asked um, if we would like to practice our English or English with him. And um, actually, I was the first uh, person to say, of course, of course, I, I wanted to. So um, we started uh, regularly practice um, oral English, um, um, which means we um, just talk to each other in English. Um, um, every Tuesday morning, and I found you know for two hours that's a very kind of him, and uh, and I can, I found myself actually you know my <laughs> spoken English is improved a little bit just through I, I, I can remember maybe ten times I practiced something like ten times maybe like something like that. Um, it's actually twenty hours. That, that's a lot of time. And uh, of course, my spoken improved, and uh, my listening skills has imp improved a lot. Um, okay, I've do I'm done with my story. Um, and the second point is, um, uh, play games is not waste of time. You know, you, you you never know what you will learn in games. You know, and uh, um, there's no point to control yourself to force yourself into anything sometimes you'll find yourself really you know have you know <clears throat> um do something you didn't expect like um i played starcraft 2 and i learned english you know this really weird thing um it's the most ridiculous thing could happen in the world you know you, you never judge what you're doing and um um i think um that's all i'm just uh I talk too much, this video is too long, I probably have to cut, you know, my turn to shorter once, um, now, stop.